look at her. We're going to show you pictures of queens from past drag races, uh -huh. and you'll just tell us the first thing that popped into okay. your mind. Okay, am I going to look there? Well, you could look there or there. Okay, Whatever right. might be the I want to look there. We'll look yeah. there, all yeah. right. And get ready to play. Look at her! <laughs> All right, give us the first one. Ooh, look how pretty she mm -hmm. is. Wow. Gay 90s, that's where I saw her before the show in Minneapolis! Oh. I saw uh, Miss Bibi uh, Zahara Benet at the, that is Bibi Zahara Benet. That is Bibi yes. Zahara yeah. Benet. <laughs> that would be very, very bad, RuPaul, if you didn't remember. <laughs> Oh, my kids. <laughs> no, I saw her at the Gay 90s. Before we started RuPaul's Drag Race, I thought, wow, she's sensational. Mm -hmm. we got to do something with her. Direct from Africa. Yes, honey, Cameroon. Yes. <laughs> Next picture. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, my God. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. What a smart, smart girl. And uh, I remember her, I, I, I remember seeing her at the car wash right over here on Santa Monica mm -hmm. Boulevard. <laughs> and she was looking like, she was dressed like David Bowie, um, the Thin White Duke. Oh, yes. You know, and she had. That's kind of her day look. Yes. <laughs> it was, she had on, she had red, red, red hair with blonde in the front in a sort of a Beethoven and this, you know, belted mm -hmm. pantsuit storyline. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow. And then, of course, years later, you know, she there was she on was. our show. Yes. Running the race. Yes. Next picture. Of course, Look at her. Raja, what an amazing creature. Just so smart. No one has killed that runway like Raja. She really since. stomps it. She stomps it. She mm. really does. And smart and, uh, you know, so talented. She's actually on the road right now doing Iggy Azalea's makeup. Really? Yeah, she's mm -hmm. amazing. I'd like a collabo song. Next picture, look at her! <laughs> Willem! Oh, there she is! Yes, <laughs> another smart one. That's the thing about uh, the, the, the big queens, have always had to fight their way through society to become what they are today. And Willem is a smart, smart cookie. I'm sure as a little boy, Willem was the smartest kid in school, always the smartest, so clever. And, you know, I remember meeting Willem when uh, we were at the, the, the gay film festival, was it Outfest? Outfest, yeah. Uh, in 07, because I had Star Booty out oh, at yes. that time. <laughs> uh, one of the greatest classics <laughs> of all time. <laughs> My name, Cookie. Hey. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I met Willem there, and I knew uh, uh, just a brilliant, brilliant And artist. good timing. Nobody has really got it out the greatest time like he did. That bitch did it. She really did. I, I could see her on a sitcom just any, her own sitcom any I'm second sure now. I'm sure she can too. Yeah. Next picture, look at her! Look at her! May I call you Jiggly? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I was always hoping that when I said, may I call you Jiggly, she would say, yes, darling, everybody does. <laughs> but she never, she never took You're the like, bait. You're like, I don't know what you mean, <laughs> my name is Jiggly. Oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, so funny. I, uh, whenever I see Jiggly, I think of that split that she did. You oh, yeah. That boom. That's like a big boy runway type of split. That's what I liked about it. I love a big boy runway split. We get a little bounce. She was amazing. So funny. So I love her. Next picture. Look at her. Oh, Jinxie. Oh, my God. Jinxie's got a brand new album out that is amazing. And another one so smart she just exemplifies that little boy who again was too cool and too smart for the school who um, had the courage enough to persevere because most people don't have that kind of courage mm -hmm. and that's what makes our show so fascinating is that it's all about the tenacity of the human spirit so we get the best of the best of the little boys who were pushed to the side or, or said you're not good enough and they said Oh, hell, I'm going to prove you wrong. That's right. And that's what makes our show. And Jinxie exemplifies that more than anyone. Just a real talent. Did you see her show in New York? The, I have not uh, seen it, the Oh, my God. And that's a whole other direction for a uh, drag race queen. Absolutely. She, I could see her on Broadway. I could see her in movies. Uh, she was on uh, Blue Bloods. Or, yeah, Blue oh, Bloods. Oh, Blue Bloods, yeah. She's, done, she's an amazing, amazing, and a sweet, lovely person. Again, like Tammy Faye, where if you could be, go through all of that, and you know she's been oh, through yeah, it. Oh, she's been through it. And still be a lovely sweetheart, that is ace. And prettier than ever. All Love right, it. next picture, look at her. Oh my God, Mimi, I'm <laughs> first. Put me down! <laughs> <laughs> that was a first. Mimi. Did you ever think you were going to get into gorgeous ladies of wrestling style? No, on I, the didn't. Runway? I didn't. But we, did. we set a precedent after that was that 
no bitch should well leave the stage <laughs> right. after that. Because you could have been hit with oh the swing. Oh, my God, it was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> One of those moments. But, you know, it's funny. Every season we have something that happens that defines the season. That was a moment. And that was a moment. There were moments. <laughs> Next picture, look at her. Oh, wow. Chad Michaels, mm. my God. You know, uh, been a fan for many, many years. And it's interesting. When we have some veterans on the show, it's... It's always tricky because you, you don't want to pit them against the ingenue. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she held her own and she actually taught people how it's done. She a did. A true professional and just a lovely person. And, yeah. and from San Diego, hey, girl. Hey, girl. Yeah. Next picture, look at all. Oh, my goodness. Look at the other Tyra. I just, the other Tyra. I just got an email from her just today. And uh, she, you know, she is hungry and She's old school drag. You know, I lived in Atlanta for many, many years, and I was introduced to drag in Atlanta, and she carries that same torch, that sort of old style with tricks up her sleeve, like when mm -hmm. the wedding challenge, when she started on her knees, and then without holding onto anything, she jumps up on yes. two feet and then walks down the aisle. I think she reveals something. She tears something there away. There was a something going on there. So much. I love a show queen with tricks. That's, and that's, I love a trick. That is that old style, <laughs> Atlanta style, where you have to you know, reveal something. No, wig under wig style. Just, just like her outfit over there where oh, she yes, had the outfit Oh, yes, you did it, Lady Reckitore. You did some tricks. <laughs> Lady Reckitore. All right, there's just a go two left. Uh, look at her. Oh, my God. Hey, Porkchop. <laughs> hey, Porkchop. Now, Porkchop has the distinction of being the first oh, yes. queen eliminated from our show. But you always make sure to throw her a little sugar at the at, in every reunion and finale. I think it's important because, you know, the girls, they are my children. They do mm -hmm. come through my my area between, the, area. between me down there. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so, you know, uh, the, you know, I want her to know that she is still my baby. And so I, I have to give it to her, give it up to her every single time I can. And, you know, if we do ever have a, uh, an All-Stars, which they, there's been rumors about it The forever. rumors, they're already, they were oh already God. making proclamations and declarations and, and they're for campaigning. And, yes, you know, it's funny. <laughs> and I, let me say this record straight. You know what happened? As I was on the Andy Cohen show, and he said, off the cuff, he said, um, is there going to be an All-Stars too? And I said, Sure. <laughs> Tell the man with the money okay. to come and pay me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and from that, I, and I, I was really kind of being flippant, but that's what started this whole thing. Oof. And they are start your engines. Talk about it. They already are all revved up. Well, maybe through positive thinking, maybe it will happen. Maybe the network go. will listen and, and it'll happen. But well, because I'm I'd like uh, Drag Race to keep going Project Runway style where every minute one ends, there's another one there coming. There should be. It should be that That's way. how I'd like it. There's yeah. only one more queen to look at. Okay. Look at her! <laughs> <laughs> Your newest star. The breakout star. The breakout star of the season. From the season. Yeah. I, so I forgot. So we've had 75 queens. Yes, 76, 76 <laughs> queens who have been releasing, including Ornacea. Her album, I think, is going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Oh my God, RuPaul, <laughs> you've been such a delight to be here. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you.